hope you are well, hope you are still enjoying this wonderful time that we call lockdown. Things are going back to normal. Just me? No? Didn't think so. Yesterday, right back I opened. Yep, I was first in the queue. Okay, not first, like 15th maybe, but I couldn't, I couldn't stop myself. I had to go. I was up 7am, dressed, and I hit Primark in blue water. And it was incredible. So, sauce. The bag split. Obviously, if you don't go to Primark and your bag splits, you haven't done enough shopping. So I thought I would show you what I bought. I spent 80 pounds. To be fair, I thought I was gonna spend more, so I'm quite proud of only spending 80 pounds. Let's just throw that out there. Also, I got a nice mix of things. What I actually went for was things like underwear, bras, socks. I didn't buy any of those. But I did buy some bargains, so that's all that matters. Let's get started. Boring stuff out of the way first. I bought a fake house plant. Six pounds to go in my bathroom or my toilet, my downstairs toilet, which I have redecorated. If you want to see a house tour, should we do a house tour? I don't even know how we'd do a house tour. But if you want to see one, let me know in the comments and I'll do one. So this is what she looks like. Her name is Gertrude. And I don't have to keep her alive. And she smells good. Is anyone else? No? Just, just me? I really like the smell of like plasticky stuff. Anyway, she smells good and she's pretty and she hangs. So she's going in my downstairs loo, which I have just decorated. Gertrude was only six pound. There's two stickers. Did I get robbed? The other stickers are seven pounds. Um, but no, she was definitely six. Hangers. You can never have enough of these hangers and they're my favorite. I use these in my dressing room because I like to have the nice suede hangers. So they were originally four pounds, but down to two pounds 80. Thank you very much. Um, I got the ones from B&M or Wilco's last time and they're like four pounds. So, and how many did you get? 10 and they're twistable oh I like those I didn't know that they were like a black chromey colour on the hook anyway the hangers literally you don't care about those next thing I got was some little silver pots I did buy these to go on my windowsill to put my herbs in that my mother-in-law grew me but then I remembered she put them in like a really nice pot so I'll find somewhere else for these it's fine I got four of them they're a pound each bog cotton pads a must when you go to Primark I swear to god these are the only reason that I want to go to Primark because I cannot bear paying any more than 90 pence for cotton pads I got two packs of these but I've already opened one pack because I literally had completely run out of cotton pads and I was using little round ones and they just they just don't do the job, guys. They're cotton pads. Next thing I picked up was these beauty blenders. I have so many beauty blenders and I don't know where they are. I have no idea. Maybe I've thrown them away. Maybe they're dried up in a corner somewhere. Anything is possible. So I picked these up because they were £1.50 for two. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why they're different shapes. If anyone can let me know, that would be fantastic. But I thought I'd give these a go instead of using a makeup brush for a little while and see. Not that I'm really wearing makeup. Anyway, I got beauty blenders. The next thing I got was actually from the men's section. I picked up three or four bits from the men's section. I love their boxy oversized t-shirts. They're not supposed to be like boyfriend t-shirts, but that's what they end up being. And they're like a quarter of the price of the actual ones in the girls section. This was the first one. It's a pale blue. It's actually a lot nicer 
than what's picking up on camera. It's like a really pale, powdery blue colour. Um, I got this in an extra large, so it's nice and big, and I thought I'd wear this with cycling shorts. What I'm going to do is instead of trying it all on now, I'm going to insert some pictures, maybe there, um, so that you can see what they look like. This was a steal. Two pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Two pounds. I picked up one in the girls section, obviously just like a boyfriend t-shirt, and it was eight quid. And then I went upstairs to the men's section and I was like, you can go back. I left it upstairs, don't tell anyone. I didn't put it back in the right place. I also got it in this really cool khaki colour. Um, again, just with black cycling shorts, I was thinking, and a nice pair of chunky white trainers. Again, they're huge, so they really do go massively oversized. Um, I bought one from Pretty Little Thing two or three weeks ago, and that one was £10 for a boyfriend t-shirt. Again, this one was two quid. You can't go wrong, guys. You just can't go wrong. The next thing that I picked up was this super cute little crop top, and it's like a colotte. Is that the right word, colotte? So you've got the little shorts under the skirt bit and then obviously the little crop top to go with it. I really wanted the green one but they only had it in like a 16 plus so I didn't want to go that big because it would have been way too baggy but I thought 14, I'm not sure how this is going to look. Crop tops and me, we're not the best of friends. But I'm guessing that this could be quite high waisted, so there won't be too much middle on display. So I got these both in a size 14. They were seven pounds each, so 14 pounds for the whole set. And I just think it is super cute. So if lockdown has taught us one thing, it's that Primark hates us. Literally hates us. Okay, it just got stuck on my boobs. I was being dramatic. But, like, come on, guys. I thought, I really thought before lockdown, like, you guys had really sorted out your sizing issue. <clears throat> Clearly you have not. You have not. Again. I mean, it's okay. But things like this just make me, I put them on and I'm like, on the hanger, I'm like, oh my God, you look amazing. Then I put them on and it's just, let's try without a bra. <sighs> now I know why I bought so many oversized t-shirts because I just, I have no words anymore. Now we have a flappy bit here. These keep falling off because there's nothing to hold them up. It's like, this isn't tight, but it's it's got a lot of stretch in the back, but it doesn't seem to do anything for the front. The shorts are cute-ish. I don't know. I've got a real issue with the sizing. A real issue with the sizing because tell me what size 14 girl has got no boobs yeah that's it none not one of us so um how how are we supposed to work with this how if i put it down too far my nipples are going to come out it's a real catch 22. you're going back See ya. The next section I went to was the bikini section because we are still going to try and get away in August. Uh, we did have Ibiza booked for the end of June, but obviously that's not gonna happen. So we have rebooked for August and we are literally crossing our fingers, crossing myself, please. Touch wood, we can go. I think the only thing that would put me off is if we have to quarantine when we come back, but by the sounds of things, we should be well in the clear by then. We'll see. Anyway, picked up bikinis because obviously that's what you do. This bikini is everything. 
I absolutely love this. So it's got a little hook back on the top, um, adjustable straps, which you definitely need. Uh, and the cups aren't padded, but they do have, they're not just fabric. So you've got a little bit of nip protection. I got this in a size 14 because my boobs don't fit in a 12. I also got the bottoms in a size 14 because I find every bikini bottom from Primark in a 12. I don't know what bum it's made for, but like I have a normal curvy bum. 12s, they're not made for those. So I go for a 14. The top was six pounds and the bottoms were free. They were four pounds, so 10 pounds for the whole bikini. And I just think it is, I don't know, if, oh yeah, you can see the color. I hope you can see that. It's absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to wear it. The next bikini I picked up was a steal. Before I go though, actually, let me tell you about social distancing in Primark. So I'm stood at the bikini section. I'm the only person there, just me, on my own. I'm looking at a white bikini. A woman from my left comes and stands, no joke, here. So, Without using my words, because they would have come out probably quite aggressively, I just, you know, you just like, look, like that was what my face looked like. And she carried on. So I did it again. I then went, <coughs> <laughs> she backed the bugger. I'm upset that you're standing here, number one, because you are not two metres away from me, and number two, because bitch, I was looking at that bikini. There was no reason for you to come and stand in front of me and try and look at it at the same time, especially during this time. Before, you were used to it in Primark. You'd be looking at something and someone would come along and literally take it out of your hand. Nowadays, two metres. Two metres. Stay away the steel bikini. This bikini cost me less than five pounds. Less than five pounds. How cute is this? So the bottoms were two pounds and the top was two pounds. It cost me four pound. This cost me less than the Starbucks. That's less then a, less than a frappuccino. This is what this cost. So it's not, it's one of these like, it just does up at the back with one of those um, clippy things. And you can halter neck it around your neck. I don't like that. I, it just doesn't do it for me. So I also get a headache, like the knot bit when it goes in the back of your neck. Does anyone else get that? Just me? Okay, excellent. Pants, pants. No one says the word pants. What's the word for them? Bottoms, the bikini bottoms. Um, two quid, size 14 again. I think they're all right, they're not. I mean, you could fit two of my head in it, maybe three. I don't know, we're gonna try them on anyway. I feel like with bikini bottoms, I don't like them to dig in. I mean, I don't even like my pants to dig in. I said pants again. Knickers, underwear, underpants underclothes, I don't know, whatever you call them. So the bikini bottoms, I don't like them to dig in and I don't like my underwear to dig in either. Comfort is key guys, nobody wants uncomfortable under parts. The next thing I picked up was from the pyjama section. I actually didn't get any pyjamas, they were all like Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Disney, Bambi. And I just, I like plain pyjamas. But I refused to buy pajamas in a supermarket because I went to Sainsbury's last week and it was like 18 pounds for a pair of pajamas. I was like, I don't even pay that much for my real clothes. Why would I pay that much to sleep? No thanks. I have this in black already. It's like a, it's like a vest top bra, I guess. I don't know if people wear these out. Maybe they do. No judgment if you do. I'm sure it looks fantastic. I wear these to bed or I wear them under my clothes because they're super comfy. So they've got like a tighter inner section, which is supposed to offer support. It, it doesn't, it really doesn't. But 
they are like super duper soft just really comfy adjustable straps so i got that in a medium and that was three pounds that was nearly the same price as my bikini let's think about that for a second that cost me the same almost as a whole bikini whilst we're talking holiday i picked these bad boys up how cute are they um, I love a big sunglass anyway, and I also love the reflector type of sunglass. They are kind of like a leopard print. Hey, me, how's it going? And then a really cute pink hue, huey, who? I don't know, that kind of, whatever it's called, you know what I mean? They're reflective, and then a cute little pink color under here, gold on the sides, and they were a blooming bar. And their UV protection as well. Whilst I was in the men's section, I also picked up this tie-dye t-shirt. I picked this up in a 2XL because they didn't have an XL, so I just thought, okay, it's just gonna be a bit bigger. Uh, this was bargain, absolute bargain, three pounds. Um, and I really wanted a gray tie-dye t-shirt, but I didn't want to pay like misguided prices for it. On another note, misguided in Pluto always comes down. No more, it's gone. Was anyone planning on turning up? Anyway, back to my t-shirt. I saw Jamie Genevieve wearing this on one of her vlogs last week. Well, not wearing this, obviously. She was wearing a female version, probably. But um, it looked super cute with a pair of cycling shorts, so I'm copying her, basically. I picked up this t-shirt. I bought a lot of t-shirts. I feel like I don't need this many t-shirts, but because they were like two and three quid, you can't really say no. This one was eight. I could have said no to this one, but I decided not to. Anyway, it's really cute. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it because I feel like it's going to make me look larger than life. Um, but it is really cute. So it's just a plain t-shirt, plain white t-shirt with really like frilly sleeves they did also have it in black and beige the beige was a really cute color but i kind of figured i wear more white and black than i do beige so i went with white uh, this was eight pounds and i got it in a medium so let's hope that fits <laughs> where's your arms gone why do i feel like the whole world can like pull off these frilly kind of cute c t-shirts and i put them on and i look like one of those things you used to put over your kettle tea cozy i look like a tea cozy so it looks like i'm gonna get 80 pounds back in my bank account not a bad thing it just means i can spend it online in shops that actually fit next thing i picked up was some gray cycling shorts i was actually really impressed with these because Normally cycling shorts, like the pretty little thin ones, the misguided ones, they were always really see-through. Whereas these are actually super thick, like you can't see anything through them. So I'm hoping they're okay. I picked them up in a large because I like them to be a little bit baggier. Camel toe stitch can be quite real, so I like to try and avoid it. Got them to go under a couple of the t-shirts and the black t-shirt that I've already got. I do have obviously black cycling shorts. I was going to pick up the white. And I should have done because they were £2.50, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. Next thing I picked up was this lush khaki dress. So it's like a three quarter sleeve. It's a really nice cheesecloth-y fabric. Got this in a 14. There's no label on it, but it was £5 in the £5 sale. It's kind of like just below the knee, I would say. Um, and I just think with a pair of flat sandals or chunky kind of wedgy heels, this would look really cute. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I'll keep it because it was like a fiver, but I don't really feel like I'm, I don't really feel like it's woo, doing anything for me. I also feel like this is weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these sleeves, but they like, 
they start really far down. Look, so like my armpit's there and they kind of start. I'm not sold. I don't really understand it. Uh, but that's why it was five pounds and on the sale rail. So there you go. Last but not least, I picked up this shirt. I wanted this before lockdown and it was 12 pounds. And I kept walking past it going, no, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. And then when we walked in yesterday, it was the first thing I saw and I was like, I'm gonna buy it. Cause it was a fiver. So why wouldn't you buy it? So this is really cute. It's just got a little tie up. I'm loving like the military style pockets on it, which I've just realized aren't actual pockets. No, they are actual pockets. Why do they do this? So it's a pocket. You can put stuff in either side, but then it's like sewn in the middle. Are you supposed to remove that stitch? Do you know what I mean? Let me see if I can show you. Oh, oh, it comes undone. Oh, now it's a pocket. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That's really awkward. Let's pretend that didn't happen. So it's got really nice pockets on the front, which you can put stuff in. Although I'm not really sure you'd want to put stuff in them because they're on your boobs. So yeah, I'm guessing you probably wouldn't put stuff in them. But they still look good anyway, that's the whole point. And then the buttons are covered by like a strip down the front. It's got bits on it. Wow. So the buttons are covered. It's just got little black buttons down the middle and it's just probably past your hips, I would say. So it's like a really nice length, blinded by my own hair. Thanks for that. Yeah, so it's a really nice length. Um, this is kind of one of those ones, like pair of leather pants. Saying pants again. Where's this come from? I'm gonna have to put myself on the naughty step. Trousers, or even for work. I think this would look really cute. When something is a size 14, you would think that on the larger areas of the body, it would be slightly larger. I always find that anything in Primark that is like tight at the waist or tied at the waist, but then looser at the hips, the hips are never big enough. So for example, with this one, it's massive around the waist. It's got this big baggy pocket here at the back, but then this bit is actually not that loose, which you would think it would be. It doesn't sit right. It doesn't look right. Is this me going off Primark? So guys, that is the end of my Primark haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am so glad that I got in there on the first day and now I don't have to go until everyone else has gone and been. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the bits that I picked up. Let me know if you went, if it was busy, if you got any absolute bargains. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, hit that button below. Also, if you wanna be notified when I upload a new video, then click on the bell, which is somewhere down here, and I'll see you next time.